Hello and welcome to another Halloween tutorial. Okay, I don't think I can keep that accent up. Anyway, hey guys, it's Angie. Today I'm going to be doing a red zombie, a red walker, kind of inspired by white walkers, and adding a little bit of a ripped mouth effect into the mix. This one is super simple to recreate. You only need a few items from foundation to lip liners, two face paints, and some eyeshadows. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Let's see if we can get this video to 3,000 likes. Otherwise, let's get started, and thanks for watching. This process started by applying some glue to my eyebrows and then covering them up, and then applying a healthy coat of foundation. The foundation is going to act for a base for all the makeup that I'm applying on top, plus it's going to help your skin not get as stained. With a dark red lip liner called Sultry Siren from Graftobian, I'm going to get a little sketchy. I'm going to get a little Picasso on my face and start sketching in the basic shape of the makeup. I did base this design off the White Walkers from Game of Thrones because I think they're quite beautiful. So if you want to look at a reference photo, I do suggest that. To add some more zombie-esque features, I went for a mouth hole, and uh, that sounds funny now, but I just drew in kind of a ripped mouth effect and then some fake teeth. I did draw in a nose hole as well. That's a running theme, holes. <laughs> Zombies are full of holes, so that's okay. Anyway, I also drew in some stripes on the neck. Anywhere there's gonna be skin showing, you want to add some detail. Next, we're gonna be using a red face paint, also from Graftobian, to create more depth and more color to the makeup. I'm using a fine artist brush to apply this face paint. And I buy these brushes at places like Michael's, anywhere that sells art supplies or crafts. They create really beautiful stroke lines, which is what this makeup is all about. And you're going to continue to add all these strokes using that red face paint. Inside the ripped mouth, you want to create some tendon-like strokes. Basically anywhere where you see flesh, you want to add a couple of strokes just to give it some detail. Time to mix a little paint. I mixed a red and black to create this burgundy shade. I'm going to be applying this to all of the areas that I want to add dimension. I did focus this color around the ripped mouth to give it more depth and make it appear more sunken in. At this point I'm detailing out the teeth and the lips using that burgundy color. So I just outlined the teeth and then I created some more strokes on the lip. These strokes should flow with the anatomy of your face. This color became quite popular in this tutorial as I used it to deepen most of the hollows of the face. So I applied it to the cheekbones, to the temples, to the forehead, and the nose hole, as I've been calling it. And I also used it to add some of the strokes to the fleshy parts of the walker. This is what I like to call a zombie smoky eye, and what I did was to apply a black base to the eyelid. And then I'm using a red matte eyeshadow on top to just smoke it out, give it that hollow socket zombie appearance. Now is the time for the black face paint to make an appearance. I always like to, as a finishing detail, add some black because it just gives it that final pop and really makes all the colors pop, especially the lights and the darks. So I'm using that fine artist brush again to create all these black strokes, kind of in the same areas that I've created all the strokes previously. The red does get muted after you add all the darker colors, so I took a fan brush, which is a fun little technique, and added some more red face paint to the look. Once I took a step back and looked at the makeup, I decided to add some more black, especially around the ripped mouth, because I wanted that to really pop. Then I had a black eyeshadow party and went ham with it. I added some cheek veins, I added some darkness to the eyes. I just added some black, because I felt like it gave it a little more oomph, if you know what I'm saying. Finished off with a bit of final seal. Be careful with this, it can give your makeup a shiny appearance. Then I fluffed out my hair. And of course, added some black liner to the waterline. 
This tutorial is coming to an end, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Red Walker zombie. I had a lot of fun creating this. And if you did like it, please subscribe, like, and comment this video. And you can share it with your friends if you feel the need. I'd also like to invite you to my Halloween playlist where I have a ton, and I mean a ton of Halloween tutorials. So hopefully you guys can find your inspiration there. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, take care, and happy Halloween! From a zombie! Happy Halloween! How would a zombie say happy Halloween? Rubber Halloween!